It's time for Pet of the Week, guys. Stephanie eastman Bozar from Young Williams Animal Center is here with a furry friend who's up for adoption, also talking about keeping your pets safe from the cold. Stephanie, thank you for being here. I could hear this little guy <laughs> all the way over there while Dave and I were talking. What, who is this? This is Oz. He's 10 weeks old. He's ta been talking since I got him this morning. And he's doing <laughs> so great, just little color lover in my lap. He's actually a graduate of our foster program, uh -huh. so he's lived with kids, he's lived with dogs, he's lived with other cats, and wow. so far he's done great with them. And he's only 10 weeks old, so if you took him home now and had kids or cats or dogs, he'd just adjust. That is great. And he is, uh, yeah, he was vocal, he seems to be well behaved, uh, you know, he's uh, pretty comfortable. He's just purring like a motor, checking <laughs> everything out. What a sweet guy. I love that. I love that. So I know you wanted to talk a little bit about keeping your pets uh, warm, especially when it gets cold. I know at night, uh, sometimes we're seeing temperatures in the in mid, mid 20s, upper 20s, 30s. Um, what can you do to keep your pets safe from the cold? The biggest thing is if it's too cold for them outside, if it's too cold for you, it's too cold for them. That makes so sense. So bring them in when the weather dips like that. And then additionally, if you've got dogs that are mostly outside animals, you might want to feed them a little bit extra just to give them that little fat because they're burning more energy to mm -hmm. keep warm if they're always outside. You know, I have never met a dog that turned down more food. <laughs> that's right. That's right. We did have something exciting happen this week that I'd love to talk about. Yeah, absolutely. We had a $45,000 check presented to us by Dr. Eric Barton, founder of Angels Over America Foundation. And this check was to help us fund a new space shuttle. So wow. if you don't know, our space shuttle is our surgical mobile clinic uh -huh. uh, that offers affordable spay neuter surgeries, goes out into the community for the public. So this was a match on 45 that we've already raised. It's gonna cost about $350,000 to replace our unit that's uh -huh. very necessary yeah. we're issuing a challenge to the public to match dr. Barton's 45,000 by the end of the year to help us get a third of the way there awesome awesome well Stephanie thank you so much and uh, real quick where's Oz gonna be he's gonna be at our Division Street location all right Stephanie thank you so much really appreciate it always good to have young Williams in here all right guys we'll be right back after this stick around